Hey guys, greetings from Mexico and the city of Viermosa and the state of Tabasco. We are here loving it in Mexico and I'm going to do a little beer vlog for you all because there's a lot of different beers in this country. I have a really great beer taste test that I did in Belize. Uh, we, together with Sugar Free Traveling, we did all the beers on the same day and we got pretty tipsy doing it, but it was a lot of fun. So check that out on my channel. I have the link down below. So I'm going to start with the first beer here, and it's a Negro Modelo. Nice presentation, nice label, wrapped in gold, the bottle cap, everything. It looks good. So I'm going to do, you know, one, two, maybe three beers a day, because I don't want to get drunk, and try them out. So let me pop this open and see what it's like. Negro Modelo, just for you. What? No, I gotta pop the beer open. Okay, I got it open. Negro Modelo, very nice looking beer. Smells good, smells nice. It's a great taste. I like it. It's pretty, I don't know what the alcohol content is. I don't know if it says it here. I take a look, but it tastes good. Excellent beer. So I went in the light to look it up. It's a 355 milliliter bottle. And the alcohol content, content is 5.3%, so it's pretty strong beer. And it's really good. And we're coming to you from our beautiful Airbnb. This is the living room here. This is the real Mexican style living, where you sit in your living room and you have the wide doors open right towards the street and cars and people going by. And you have those bars over the big giant window and door so that you are safe. So you could be sitting in here and nobody can bother you. See cars going by? Beautiful. There go people, see, people walking by. So let me enjoy this. And I'll be back with another beer. Hey guys, I'm here with another beer, and they call it Beita. It's by Super Yor. It's a little short model, and Super Yor is known as La Rubia Que Todos Quieren, the blonde that everybody likes. Very popular in Mexico, this beer. Check it out. So let me pop it open and see what it's like. I'm back with another beer, and this is a Bella by Super Yer. It's a little short little bottle. Hi. I think I just walked by one if I want to shine my shoes. <laughs> because we're living pretty much out in the open, man. Living like a Mexican off the beaten track. So this is here Super Yer, very popular beer in Mexico. They call it La Rubia. No, nothing, Marita. Nothing or nada. There the guy effed up my damn video. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maria can't open the door. I'll be back. One of these days I'll try this beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How are you on you? Okay guys, I'm back with another beer. And these are called Beitas, made by Super Yor. Very popular beer in Mexico. And it's La Rubia Que Todos Quieren. It's called the blonde that everybody wants. 
They have a little jingle on the radio and TV, La Rubia que todos quieren, La Cerveza Superior. And that's from this beer. I've drank this beer before. I really like it. That's what ball cap looks like. That's the label. It's tasty beer. And well, all beer in Mexico is cheap. Except I just found out something about this beer. Oh, oh, also, this beer is originally from Orizaba, which I think is in Veracruz, the state of Veracruz. This beer is originally from Or... I... Eh, screwed me up again. Guys, I'm here with another beer. They call them here Beitas, made by Superior. It's very popular beer here in Mexico. That's what the cap looks like. There you can check out the label. And they got a little jingle you hear on the radio and on TV. And it's um, La Rubia Que Todos Quieren. That's what they call this beer. And the little jingle is La Rubia Que Todos Quieren. La Cerveza Superior. That's this beer here. I've had this before. I really like it, but I just found out something that I don't like. The alcohol content is only 3.5%. So you're drinking beer with beer taste, but very little alcohol in it. So I, I don't like that. It's a 300 milliliter bottle. But man, I, that, that's why I drink and drink and drink and drink this beer and nothing happens. You can't get drunk on 3%. This is beer for non-drinkers. It's, it's just not strong enough. Anyway, let me pop it open and give it a try. So I popped it open, give it a try, see what it's like. It's tasty to me, very tasty to me. I drink a lot of beer. I'm not a professional beer taster. Just a professional guy who likes to get drunk now and then. But it tastes good. It tastes very good. But now I know why I can drink a six pack of this and nothing happens. 3.5% alcohol. I might have to quit drinking this stuff. As much as I like its taste. So, enough of this. I'm gonna try another beer. It's recommended though. I do like it. Not strong, but I do like it. Superior.